What's going on crew? Happy Thursday. Let me know if you can see me. Let me know if you can hear me. What's up Dale? What's up Nicole? Peggy, how are you? Joanne, Mary, Cheryl, Stephanie, Plar, what's going on? What's up Dar? How are you? What's going on RJ? Cynthia, how are you? Let's get the rest of the crew in here. Let's get TikTok in the house. Let's get Instagram in the house. All right. TikTok's coming on. Instagram's coming on. Let's go. Happy Thursday afternoon. What's up, Bobby? How are you? What's up, Kristen? What's up, Tan? You? All right. What we got today? What we got today? We got some UV adhesive vinyl. UV adhesive vinyl. So, here is the deal. Quick little heads up with the UV adhesive vinyl. The heat transfer vinyl and um, the adhesive vinyl is when it comes to washing and drying, okay? Um, even though the adhesive is good for the dishwasher, be careful because the heat can affect the UV color change, okay? So I recommend hand washing the UV adhesive tumblers, okay? Everybody got me with that. And then also, oh, I didn't even realize there was all this stuff going. What's up? I'm changing colors on uh, TikTok. And then for the, um, for the heat transfer vinyl version of the UV Magic, um, we're recommending to uh, hang dry now, okay? Or low heat because, again, the heat can affect the UV color change, all right? So just be careful with that, but other than that, we're good to go. Now, what I'm going to do, we have three colors. We came out with the pink probably about two weeks ago. I haven't done a video on it yet, though, okay? I haven't done a video on it yet, but I'm going to do a video here. We're just going to, we aren't going to be too long today, actually. Probably, probably about an hour, hour and a half, all right? And I'm going to make a tumbler, okay? It is, it's basically, we're, we just, hey, by the way, I know a ton of you All-Star members are here. All-Star members for the YouTube channel, just to let you guys know, okay? Just to let you guys know, we are, I just did the giveaway for the All-Star Scrap Box, okay? Scrap Box I just gave away, so you will find that in the Community tab on YouTube, and see the winner of who won the scrap box for the month of June. And then what I'm going to do just for today's live is I'm going to pick a live. I, I very rarely ever do this, but I'm going to pick an all-star member for the Tumblr that we're going to make right now and do a name. And I'm just going to throw a name on it. So it's going to be a little bit more elaborate Tumblr. And it's going to be similar to the way that I did the turtle and the butterfly tumbler for the cold color changing. Okay. Now, here's what's cool and what I like about the UV adhesive, um, the UV magic adhesive. And that is with a nice tumbler like this from Save a Cup. Okay the double wall metal tumblers. The cold color changing doesn't work on this, okay? Doesn't work on this. And the reason why is because the tumbler's doing what it should and the temperature is not getting through to this outside layer. Makes sense? However, what's cool about it is the UV magic adhesive vinyl does work on this because it's... UV activated versus temperature activated, okay? So we're going to make a tumbler with this one here. I'm going to do it multiple layers. So it's going, to be, it's going to be a more difficult one. I'm going to use all three colors. I don't always recommend doing that, but if you want, I'm going to go kind of next level with it. And then I am also going to use a brand new font that we just released. Um, those are, yes, let me get the exact name. Those are, the tumbler is, 
the tw it's the 22 ounce roadie tumbler. So it's the 20, that's the white 22 ounce roadie. Okay. All right. So here's the deal. Here's the deal with these. Um, yeah, most of you have seen, obviously, the, the color spark color change. I think we have 18 colors as of right now. We still have more colors that are coming in. By far the largest line of color changing adhesive vinyl on the internet, I think. So that part's pretty sweet, but this UV, this UV magic adhesive vinyl is going to be pretty sweet. So first thing I want to do is I want to show you guys the new font. So these fonts, depending on what software you have, you can use this font in any software, okay? So what I mean by that is the font actually has different characters, okay, for each one. So it can kind of change. It's called our Super Summer font. So let me flip around here. I did, act, just to let you guys know, I did activate the TRW Release 65 coupon code. You'll see it above here on YouTube. So that is back and activated again right now to get 65% off. And the new summer font, the super summer, is this one right here. Okay? So I need to pick somebody. I need to pick an all-star member. And let me head over here. Um, those of you that are all-stars, just type in all-star. So if you're an all-star member on YouTube, all-star member on YouTube. So the training's for everybody today, of course. But I'm going to give the tumbler away to an all-star member this time. Never do that, but I like to mix it up. I like to mix it up. So, here we go. Scrolling through, and I am going to find an all-star member here. And I'm looking on YouTube to make sure that they're all-star as well. Okay? And I am going to go with... And I'm just completely randomly, randomly doing it, okay? And it'll ship with your next order that requires shipping. So, scrolling through. And I'll show, yes, I'm going to show you exactly what the font does. Of course, of course. All right. Our winner for the all-star, all-star tumbler that I scrolled through. Oh, I should have had that on my screen as I was kind of randomly picking it. I got Julie Hendrickson. Julie Hendrickson, you are the winner of the tumbler today. The tumbler we're going to be making in the live today. All right, so Julie Hendrickson, you got it. Next order that requires shipping on the website. Boom, there you go. All right, so check this out. This is the font here, okay? Now, the font also has all different types of clip art in it so our if you've never seen these fonts before our fonts are super unique so Paige and Bobby get together and they get with me and we kind of get an idea of okay what's cool what's something that's simple what's something that's easy to weed so Bobby test cuts it and Paige has a cricket and and Bobby has the cameo in the cricket and then I test cut stuff to make sure that it's easy for you to cut so we always think of that stuff when we're creating fonts like this but You'll see with this font how it has all the alternate characters as well. So in Silhouette software, you can just use that drop down to switch in, in the characters. And then in the Cricut software, Design Space, you're going to use your character mapping. And there's all we have videos showing you how to do it, but then there's also videos on YouTube as well. Okay? So here we go. Here we go. Check this out. I am going to, this is the one I, I was doing as a test, and I was doing this one for Bobby. And I'm going to show you a couple tricks here. I'm going to show you a couple tricks here that I'm going to use in, um, in Corel Draw and the TRW Design Wizard. So check this out. These are all welded together, okay? Everybody sees that? All welded together, all welded together. First, let me show you how the font works. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to type out Julie. And let's go ahead and enlarge this. And I'm going to use my Super Summer font. So when you first type it out, okay, when you first type it out, it's just going to type out similar to this right here. 
and it's just going to show it in a script font, okay? But check this out. If I wanted to double click, and this is doing it in Corel Draw, highlight the J, the little drop down there, and then I can say, okay, do I want the little octopus kind of squid? Uh, do I want the um, palm trees coming off the J? Do I want just the regular J? So I have another J here with a little wave coming off it. So it kind of gives a bunch of different examples and different ideas we could do for it. Or you could just do the regular J, okay? If I wanted the U, I could come over here and say, okay, do I want this little seashell on it? Do I want the little sun above it? Do I want the regular U? For the L, I can come over here and say, maybe I want the dolphin jumping on top of it, okay? Or I want the seashell in the L. So each letter normally has about three different options. You can see the little seagull there, the little starfish there, and so on. All right, so let's just for right now, because I don't want to go overboard with the actual clip art too much, because here's what else you can do. Check this out, and this is how I built this right here. All right, what I can do is I can highlight it, and I'm just going to type out the, I'm, first one I'm going to do is the percentage sign. So the percentage sign is a little hibiscus. And then I'll do above the six, that little kind of arrow. There's a little, um, come on, help me out here. Help me out here. What is it? It's a, um, <laughs> come on. The little thing that will save their life. Brain fart. Let's go. It's a, this isn't helping me because YouTube's like a 40 second delay. It's a, you're not helping me guys. <laughs> Why can't, come on, help me out here. Let's go. Oh, you know what? A life preserver, lifesaver, yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that hurt right there. <laughs> All right. And then above the seven is going to be an umbrella. And then above the eight is going to be some palm trees. Above the nine is going to be some different seagulls. Uh, the right parentheses is going to be a little flamingo. The minus sign is going to be a little seashell. And then I have a wave here. So you can see there's all different types of clip art built into this font as well. That's really cool. Okay. Literally named what it is. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. Hey, Bobby. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Pilar spelt, misspelt her own name today. So, Pilar, you're not even allowed to talk right now. So, here's what I did is I just threw some of the different clip art in different areas. So, that's kind of how I built this right here. Now, like I said, this right here is all welded together. Okay. However, yes, all of those clip arts are in that one font. All of them are in that one font, which is cool, right? So it's a font, it has letters built with clip art in it, and then it also has clip art outside of it. Yes, it'll work in design space, you'll just use your character mapping, okay? Now, check this out. With <laughs> Bobby in timeout. Um, Bobby right here. I want to get rid of the Bobby part of the design, but not everything else. Does anybody know how different ways I could do that? One way I could do it is I can double click and highlight and delete, right? So that's pretty easy and probably by far the easiest way to do it here. Okay, I just drew around it and deleted it. Now, what I need to do now is I need to figure out, okay, I'm going to get this Julie set up perfectly. So I'm going to break it apart and I'm going to adjust my text just a little bit to get everything set up perfectly the way I want it. I got that there and let's do the J here. Now for this design, I know going on this tumbler, I'm going to weld it together. So you can see I'm in my wireframe right now. When I hit weld, everything's welded together. Got it? Now, I want this to be about 5.2 inches, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this back a little bit. And 5.2 inches is a 
is a pretty good size for this tumbler, okay? But what if you wanted, let's say, for example, the starfish here or the dolphin to be a different color? I've welded it all together already. Here's the way I would do this. I would do a smart fill, click on the dolphin, and click on the star. Now, keep in mind, back behind there is still a dolphin and a star. So if you have the wizard in Corel, most people would click and try and highlight around this and then have to draw perfectly around it and delete the layer back behind, and then you're good. However, here's what I would do. I would just come over here to the right-hand side, and I'm going to do a magic boundary. And with that magic boundary, I'm going to do a contour of 0 0.02 and remove shapes behind. So watch what's going to happen. When I hit magic boundary, that layer behind it's gone now. So watch the star. There's a star behind it right now, right? Watch. When I click on this, I hit that one button, and now it's gone. So I didn't have to double click, draw all around it, delete it from there. That takes a lot longer, right? Because now what I can do is I can come over there and I can change it to whatever colors I want. So I could say, okay, well, I want the dolphin to be blue. I want this to be the purple and I want the Julie to be pink. And there's my colors. Now I need to come up here and make sure that Julie is going to fit into this area. So it looks like it should be pretty good, but I got two birds, two seagulls that are in the way right here. Okay. So a couple different things I can do with those. I can double click, highlight them and just move them out of the way for right now, even though they were welded together. Okay. I can grab Julie here and I'm going to probably need to move that dolphin there a little bit too, right? So let's get this right there. And then this dolphin, I'm going to need to move a little bit as well. And actually, that dolphin was part of the Bobby design, right? So I'm actually going to completely get rid of that dolphin. So what I'm doing, and you guys will see as I cut this and make it in just a minute. But what I'm doing is, is I'm forming my three different cuts. Okay, I'm forming my three different cuts. Now... What's making it more difficult is I had welded these together already, but what I didn't want to do is have to recreate this whole thing because I knew I had a nice setup for it. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do the smart fill on these two and do that same little magic boundary trick. And now those are by themselves as well. Got it? So. Let's move these around a little bit to get them all lined up the way we want so we're not wasting any material or not wasting as much material. So we got that there. I'm going to drop this seagull here and I'm going to drop that seagull there. Okay, and I can probably get another seagull or a star over in this area. So let's just do maybe another little seagull here and I can make them smaller and rotate them a little bit. I'm just, even if I don't use that seagull, okay, even if I don't use that seagull there, I know I have it for later for a different design, okay? Um, you can break it apart. Yes, you can undo the weld or break it apart, but here's what happens when you do. Watch all my inside cavities. See how they all fill in and it breaks everything apart. So that's the difficult part if something's welded, if it has inside cavities. Okay, now here's what we're going to do. I'm kind of paying attention to my seagulls. I got three blue seagulls. I got two pink seagulls and I have one purple. So I probably want to at least add another purple here. There's a lot of pink in the design already. So I'm going to go with another blue and then we're going to make this one a purple. So there we go. Looking pretty good so far, right? Now, my overall design is 11.4 inches, okay? So I know that that's going to, and I can just shrink it a tiny bit if I want. And I know this is going to be a pretty good size. So now what I want to do is I want to weld those other colors together. So they're all part, they're all one, right? So check it out. I have my all of my pink there. 
but I still have other pink in this design as well, right? So I'm gonna select same color. It selected all of the pink in the design and I'm going to weld those together. Now I'm gonna click on the blue, select same color. It selected all the blue in the design, weld that together. And then the purple, select same color, all the purple, weld that together. Now, who can tell me why I did this? Check this out. Does anybody notice these two little starfish here? Watch what happens when I move this. You see what's going on right there? Who can tell me why I did that? Why are there three, why are there three starfish right there? This is weird on uh, TikTok. It's not showing me the viewer count. I've never seen that before. Comment settings. Huh. That's very weird. So what that's doing is it's setting my registration. Those are basically my registration marks for when I'm layering it. But it's in kind of a little bit of a dead space to help with my alignment. Does that make sense? And it'll make sense when I go to, to layer them all, right? To go to layer them all. Exactly, Kathleen. Perfect. All right. So we're good with all that. I'm going to go to templates. And I'm going to go to vinyl overcut. When I do it, it cuts in my three different templates. Okay. So th there's my three layers right there. So let's head over to the vinyl cutter here and let's get these things going. So let me get Instagram. Let's get you guys there on Instagram. I'm going to hop over to Facebook here in just a minute. So Instagram, make sure you're over on YouTube to see what we got going on. And TikTok, come on over here. And let me flip you guys around here. YouTube. Boom. Good to go. All right. So the first color I'm going to cut is the, I think I have a color in there now, and this is the blue. So first color I'm going to cut is the blue. And you know what I'm going to do before? Oh, I'll just cut it off in a minute. So I just set my origin. Now for my setting on this, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to select my blue, which has my waves and stuff in it as well. I'm going to go to launch, cut plot CM4. You're seeing it, Plar? That's weird. I don't see it at all. That's crazy. Now, I have my four set at 11. That is a super light force, okay? My force is set at 11 for cutting this material here. So, here's what you don't want to do. Anytime you're cutting a material like this, you don't want to cut too deep into the material because what can happen is when you're pulling it up that carrier sheet in the back let me get live on tiktok here that carrier sheet in the back can actually pull up with it if it cuts too deep so you want to cut enough to get through it but not too deep because that's where you can run into that issue so as that's cutting there i'm going to come over here and start getting my second cut set up so i know it's already sent all of that information so i'm going to cut the pink neck so i'm going to launch and then cut plot CM4. I got to find. This is pretty cool. So I can't tell which one is the pink right now between the pink and the purple. So I got to grab my UV light. And now I can see. So this is the pink here. And then you'll see. That's the blue there. So we're going with the pink for my second cut. Let's get this loaded in here. And I'm, I'm pushing the limits a little bit. I'm a little over 11, a little over 11 and a half inches. So I got to be a little bit careful when I'm cutting this. So good to go there. Set my origin. I got my same four set at 11 for Julie and Sin. Um, what were you confused about? 
How do you make those stars to show? Uh, I'll show you, Jewel. I'll show you afterwards how to do it. It's super simple to create the alignment stars. And the only reason why I'm using the alignment stars on this one is because there's nothing that, even though I'm using the light board and the parchment paper, there's nothing that really shows me the direct alignment because I don't really have any lined up right on top of each other because none of this design I'm layering on top of each other. However, I'm trying to get all three colors into the same design because some of them have a mixture of the colors. And it's really difficult to layer it once you're on the tumbler. All right, so let's see where my cut line is here. There it is. Good to go there. So I got my blue cut. I got, and this should be my purple, right? That's my purple, yep. And then let's get our last cut here. All right, so one for front edge, let's bring that up. It's hard to tell, isn't it? It's kind of cool and it kind of sucks at the same time, especially with all the color changing vinyl because they like the clear ones, they all look very similar. And it is, it, it, it gets hard to tell which one's which. And you have to dip it in water or use, um, dip it in water or use, um, ice or something to put next to it. All right, so as that's cutting, I'm gonna move you guys all over here. Let's put you down here, down towards the light board. And we are going to get these weeded. Where did my second one go? Where did I put it? Or did I not trim it off? I didn't trim it off. Why didn't you guys tell me to trim it off? And the bottom part here. Scrap box. All right, good there, good there. Hopefully my 11 cut force, hopefully it's good. I cut it at 14 earlier and it cut a little deep and then as you guys know, I didn't do a test cut, which was dumb. But you should always do test cuts, right? You should always. That's why I never do them. I know. Don't ask me. All right. So this is either the purple or the pink. Again, it's hard to tell off the start. Okay, looks like my 11's a good. Oh, yeah. 11's looking good. Oh, yeah. That was a super easy weed. Got both of my stars in it. It hit that seashell perfectly there. That was nice. I don't need the light board on yet. I'll get it in just a minute. Let's go with the blue. Um, UV magic piece of vinyl in. Because, uh, yeah, you can put this, and that's what's cool about this. Exactly, Betty. What's cool about this material is, as you know, like with a Yeti, the color-changing adhesive vinyl doesn't activate because the Yeti is doing its job and the cold is not getting through the tumbler. However, because this is light-activated, UV-activated, it will still work on a Yeti tumbler. So it kind of solves that issue that you run into with the cold or hot color changing. And of course, it's a crazy cloudy day out right now. So, I mean, I have the, uh, 
I have the flashlight to be able to show you, but it just looks so much better when you take it outside and you see how quickly it changes. So even though I can't bring YouTube outside, maybe everybody will just hop over to, uh, hop over to Instagram or something or um, TikTok real quick to be able to see it. All right, so there, and now I need to grab my, I turned on the light board there so I could see those cut lines a lot better. Oh no, you got the cable company there. I mean, that's, it's a good thing and a bad thing, right? It's a good thing they're probably fixing an issue, but bad thing that you're gonna run into, like you are saying, probably connection issues during the live here. All right. Um, yes, these scissors, I have it on the pro I have these scissors on the products we love on the website. These things are awesome. I've had this, this I think it was a three pack for, what was it guys, like 10 bucks, 12 bucks, something like that. Ridiculous. And I've had these things for a couple of years now. They're amazing. I'm using my Color Spark um, Color Spark Medium Tack application tape on this one. So here's what we're going to do. I am going to, we'll start with the Julie part of the design here, okay? So I need to use my, now that's rolled up a little bit, so I just got to be a little bit careful when putting this down. And don't get too crazy about trying to necessarily line up your grids to be perfectly straight because it's not that easy. <laughs> Dale, uh, yes, I did pass scissors class. So when pulling this up, I'm going to roll it off. And see, I always roll it. I like to roll it off the back side here. And that came off absolutely perfect. So nice. Why is, is the light a little bit too bright for you guys? Hold on. Let me see if I bring YouTube over to the other side. Hold on, YouTube. It was a weird angle with the light there that I was seeing at least where it was kind of hard for you guys to see. Let me see if I bring you over here, if this makes it any better. Is that a little bit better, YouTube? Hopefully that you're able to see a little bit better with that. Now, next thing I need to do, I have my big piece of parchment paper here. Okay, big piece of parchment paper. I'm going to grab my design here. I'm going to go with my next color. doesn't matter what color you do next. I'm going to put this on my parchment paper. And now I'm lining up my stars. Okay, so I know I have my top star and my bottom right star. So let's get that star lined up. And as long as I line up those two stars, everything else should line up nicely. I got my little hinge on the right hand side there. Okay, so, and this is a pretty big design, right? So it's a little bit more difficult to work with, but I'm gonna go there, pull out my parchment paper, and let's go ahead and grab my squeegee and take that down. And there's my second color. All right, so then the same process. Let's roll this off. Make sure that obviously everything stays, especially those stars, right? And I am noticing, I did forget to do one thing, and I'll do it here real quick. I forgot to weed out the inside, and the light board is what showed me it, the inside of basically like a reverse weed, right? The inside of my blue wave right here. <laughs> oh, Dale, you're on fire today. Lined up the two stars to make a five-star design. Let's go. 
There we go. See that part of the wave that I had missed? Beautiful. All right, now we got our third and final color. Let's drop this baby down here. Grab my parchment paper over top. Again, just kind of push that down a little bit. And let's line up my stars again. So, top star first, looking at the bottom right star. Those look pretty good. I'm good with pretty good. Let's go ahead and lift this up. Roll this back. Pull out my parchment paper. And then same thing like we always do. Just squeegee this down. And there we go. We got our three color design. So let's squeegee it down good. And then we'll get into actually making the tumbler here. Okay, so grab my scissors here. And if you wanted to, honestly, guys, and I, I would do this, okay, you could create something like this for a customer, send it to them, and they could literally make their own tumbler. And design it however they want, which would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? All right, so let's go here. And let's start with the Julie part of the design. So no, I know on the Julie part of the design, I have the, the dolphin hopping over the L, and then I have the starfish. So those are the parts that I'm going to keep. within this. And some of them are pretty close, so you gotta be, I mean, a little bit careful, but nothing crazy. <clears throat> Back to my parchment paper. Let's go ahead and roll this off. Parchment paper there, exposing a little bit of it there. So what this, I love this parchment paper trick that a lot of people don't use because it allows me to still move this around on the tumbler a little bit and say, okay, do I want the J? Julie, do you want the J to be on top or the J to be on the bottom? I normally go with the J, the, the first letter going from top to bottom, but... Again, it's up to the customer. So Julie, let me know. What do you want to do? The J on top? And that's what I normally do, or the J on the bottom. <coughs> this delay, oh, top. Top it is. All right, here we go. So Julie said the J on top. So I'm going to go there. That looks pretty good there. I'm good with pretty good. Let's go ahead and seal that down. So I sealed down that side. Now I can lift this up and kind of work my way down with this to avoid any bubbles. Once I have that, I can roll off my adhesive there, and it doesn't look like much right now, does it? However, check this out. Say you just did a custom name, just a custom name for the customer, right? When they walk outside with this, this is what they're going to get. Check that out. Pretty sick, isn't it? Now we get to customize the rest however we want. Okay? So, let me go and start trimming 
this here. These are super, super popular, obviously for wedding, for bridal, for, um, for any type of like engagement parties, for bachelorette parties, for bachelor parties. So, and then just in general as well. All right, so let me go. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just trimming off my different areas. so that I can arrange it however I want. Let me grab my sun right here. Now the sun we did, which was pretty cool, we did some of the ray, sun rays being pink. Some of them were purple. I got a couple seagulls here. I got my wave right here with the dolphin jumping out of it. And that's gonna be kind of one of our big areas of the design, right? Let's go ahead and get that little star out of there, and then let's trim that there. Okay, so there's my dolphin. Let's get a couple more of my seagulls over here. And I don't have to use all these seagulls, remember, right? I can just use what I need and save the others for different jobs. All right, um, the tumbler I'm using, no, this isn't the sublimate one. This is actually just the white roadie tumbler. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to go the wave. I'm going to do it similar to the one I did earlier, which I think looks really nice. The wave is kind of going under the Julie part of the design and then the dolphin kind of going all the way around to that side. So let's do that. I'm going to release this if I can get my nails in there. That looks good there. And with this one, I probably don't really need the parchment paper because I can kind of eyeball this one pretty good. And see, even if I'm a little bit off, there we go. And then I'm just going to wrap it around here. And I just kind of wanted the wave being on, obviously, the bottom of the cup right there, which is going to be pretty cool. What's up, Pamela? How are you? I'm not going to epoxy over it, no. I mean, technically, you could. You could, but this is going to be for hand wash. So, now we have, as you can see, our wave with our dolphin jumping over that. This dead area right here, I'm going to put my other big part of the design, which is going to be my umbrella. And I'm going to put the umbrella at a little bit of an angle here. So, um, there's a big mic. There's a similar material. It's called UV Magic Heat Transfer Vinyl. And that's what you would use for t-shirts. So, this is the adhesive vinyl that you're gonna use for tumblers and stuff. But we do have a heat transfer vinyl version on our website as well. Now, with that being said, I'm going to throw, um, let's see, what color is that? That's a pink. So I'm gonna put, do I have a blue, what color are my seashells? So now I'm kind of piecing, ooh, I do have a blue seashell. So I'm going to put a blue seashell. Um, I don't, that's a great question, Colleen, because I've honestly never used epoxy. So can someone tell me, does epoxy, will the epoxy block a UV sunlight ray? That's a great question. That I don't know. All right. So I got my seashell right there. Now, over in this area and different spots, I do need to get my big sun up here. So I'm going to throw the sun right over here in the middle, up above our dolphin. Right up top. Beautiful. This thing's going to look sweet. Sun's up there. And then it's time to start grabbing some of my different seagulls and throwing them around in different spots. So, depending on the size, and I try to mix up the colors a little bit to be able to 
not have the same colors always next to each other. So I got a lot of pink right there. So I'm going to drop this seagull up top here next to my son. Oh, look at that. Look how cool that is. <laughs> I did the UV or I did the um, light over it and the grid was blocking it. So it put the lines in it. But then obviously, as soon as the light hits it again and those lines aren't there, <laughs> that scared me for a second. I was like, what was that? Um, the vinyl shield does have a UV block on it, so you would not want to put vinyl shield over this. But remember, like I was saying, with this material, you do want to, with this material, you do want to recommend hand washing versus dishwasher because the heat of the dishwasher can affect the UV color change. All right, got another seagull here. And what's also really cool about these tumblers when you do them like this, every single one of them, every single tumbler you make is going to be different. It's going to be unique. It's going to be one of one because there's no way that you could ever put all of these designs in the exact same spot, right? There's not really a way to do that. So that's purple, that's pink. Oh, yeah, we'll have... These two seagulls flying right next to each other, a purple and pink one. Throw them down a little bit more, right about there. Look at the lines again. See what I'm talking about with the lines? But those are gone as soon as the light hits it again. All right, so I'm feeling like we got this pretty good. I mean, I could probably throw one more kind of in this area right here, maybe one of my smaller ones. Let's do that. There's a little bit of a dead area there. Um, yeah, so when you're using, sorry, Pamela, um, Yes, I did talk about that a little bit earlier. So when you're using the UV Magic heat transfer vinyl, recommend hang drying. Because again, the, the dryer and all the stuff that people dry with and everything can affect the UV. It can affect the UV. All right, you guys ready to see what this thing looks like? What's a cool way that I could do this? Here, let me actually grab, let me grab my spinner here. Let me bring you guys down a little bit. Show you how cool this thing looks. All right. Let me bring you guys down a little bit as well, TikTok. All right, you guys ready for this? This thing's going to look so sweet. So I'm just going to shine the light on it as it's spinning around here. Ready? Oh, wait, I got to put it on a full spin. It's going back and forth. Let's see if that did it. Oh. There we go. Now it's spinning all the way. No, it's not. Damn it. There it didn't turn back. All right, here we go. Ready? And, and then it just turned. Boom. How sweet is that? I'll shine it back here so you can see. But what I love about it as well is how cool, like the blue, watch the blue. It's super blue right now and watch how quickly it changes back when you're inside. That blue right there, see the seashell? Watch how quick it changes back. Oh, uh, bring TikTok, yeah. TikTok, come on down. Ready? So it, 
It's pretty cool when I shine the light on it here, but honestly, when I bring this, do you guys, everybody come over to TikTok real quick. Do you guys want to take a road trip and go outside? It's not very sunny, but I'll show you guys. It's pretty cloudy outside. Um, maybe the sun will just peek through as soon as we walk outside. All right, we are going to take a road trip. We are going to take a road trip. So if you're on YouTube, if you're on YouTube, head over to TikTok. Head over to TikTok. We're going to take a road trip. Here we go. You ready for it? Road trip on. All right, here we go. About to hit outside. Super cloudy, but look at it already. How sick is that? See the purple and the pink? I don't know if you guys can still hear me inside there, but we got some pretty sweet views here on TikTok. And you can see how cloudy it is, the sun even with the clouds changing the colors that much and then watch when i come back in watch how, look at the blue is already changing back that quickly blue is already back to basically white all right we're coming back to you youtube sorry i couldn't bring my whole desktop computer outside All right, let me come over here, flip around. Let's go to our main camera here, and let me grab you guys as well. Hey, Instagram, Instagram, head over to YouTube. Head over to YouTube. I got to take some pictures of the different winners. All right, Instagram, we'll see you later. So TikTok, what did you think? If you, you can... I'm going to make a TikTok on it. I'm going to make a TikTok on it just to let you guys know. And you will be able to see me walking outside with it on the TikTok. But I will show you guys again right here. Check it out. And the blue already, purple already changing back. Pink already changing back. So sweet. All right. Julie, what do you think of your tumbler? Pretty badass, isn't it? So we got Julie Straw here. Now, I got a question for you guys. I made this tumbler for the TikTok video. And the question to all of you guys is, should I bring it in the office and give it to Bobby? What do you think? Bobby, I'm leaving it up to them. Should I bring it into the office? And does Bobby get this tumbler? What we got? Bobby, you got some love here. You got some love there. That's what I'm talking. So, <clears throat> this these tumblers are obviously more expensive, okay? These tumblers are definitely more expensive because these are the steel steel tumblers let me go and i'm going to get you guys the exact price of these tumblers hold on so on save a cup i actually have a meeting with save a cup today so i'm going to talk to them and i'm going to try to work out something here coming up soon for one of the monday lives for another coupon code looking to hook you guys up so the roadie tumbler is if you get if you get 12 of them 
they're $8.79 each. Six of them, they're $11 each. So they're super nice tumblers, but they're also not super inexpensive, right? They get all the way down to $6.28, but that's if you're ordering 240 of them. And most of us probably aren't ordering 240 of them. 12, I could see. 24, I could see. They're down to $7.48 with 24. But something like this, you're probably looking at, if you did all three colors, okay, you're probably using about a foot of material. Okay, so you're probably around $4 or so. $4. Of course, I'm going to bring it into Bobby. I just wanted to make sure you guys wanted me to. Um, probably about $4 worth of vinyl because I'm using three colors. Okay, maybe a little over $4 in vinyl. Then you have, let's say, a $9 tumbler. Okay, so we have $13 in tumbler cost. Okay. Now, with that being said, what would I charge for something like this? A little bit more time involved with the three color, putting it all together and everything else, right? A little bit more time involved in all of that. So a super nice tumbler like this, I'm going to probably be at least $30 for a custom one. At least $30, okay? However... If they say that's too expensive, change it to one color, and I could easily probably be at twenty dollars. To maybe may, maybe a one color that's just a super easy, just throw them on quick, and it would take me literally five minutes to make it. Maybe that's twenty bucks, okay? Because you're only going to have maybe a, a dollar, dollar and change worth of vinyl. Then twenty five dollars for a two color, thirty dollars for a three color. If they wanted even less than that, then you offer them something like, uh, I'm trying to see if I have one of my acrylic ones around here. Something like this one here, where you're giving them the much less expensive acrylic tumbler and the acrylic skinny tumblers, you're looking at, for a 12 pack, they're $3.25 each. So, what I've always learned is if you give them options, give them a less expensive version, okay? Give them a less expensive version, but then also give them and show them kind of the Mac Daddy version, okay? This is my three color on the nicest tumbler, or we could do a one color name on a $3.25 tumbler. So... Just a, just a name with that new font, with that summer font, putting just a name on a tumbler like this, I'm going to be looking at maybe a quarter in vinyl cost, okay, for just a name. Let's just say a, a 25 cents in vinyl cost, three twenty five for my tumbler. It's free shipping, so I'm looking at like four bucks or um, three fifty, right? Oh, oh, there was a car here. Um, three fifty. Right? So I'm going to charge still custom name. Anytime you do custom, you got to upcharge on it. Okay? Anytime you do custom. So I would still be looking at probably 15 bucks for a custom name with something like this one here. The Matt Daddy version. <laughs> I like that, Dawn. Let's go. Okay, so everybody knows. Everybody does know. Let me know. Everybody does know the... Let me flip my camera around. Everybody knows the new font. So the TRW Release 65, TRW Release 65 is working for this new font right here. So it will eventually, like always, go to the $40. But right now it's $10 off for the live. So it's $30 right now. Um, and you can use the color change on acrylic, but not, um, yes, you can use the color change on the acrylic, correct, Dale, but not on the steel tumblers, correct. Yep. So, TRW Release 65 will get you 65% off of that font right there. Got it? Let's go. All right.
Fire away with some questions, and I need you guys to I need you guys to hit some likes here quick. I need you guys to hit some lights here. Uh, Matt, wouldn't that be two colors? What do you mean, John? Which one? Oh, I was just saying on this. Yes, that is showing two colors. I'm saying if we did one color. That just fair. Awesome, Julie. Perfect. Good, good, good. And if someone doesn't want to pay that pricing, don't make it for them. You need to make money. We do ship worldwide. Yes. Um, the font's just on the website. The font's on the website, therhinestoneworld.com. You'll see it on the main page of the website. And just use the code TRWRELEASE65, and it'll take 65% off the font. Um, Cynthia, just give a call into the warehouse if you have any questions. It really depends on what software you're using. So with Cricut Design Space, um, you're going to use the character mapping. And then in, you can in Silhouette as well. But then in Silhouette Studio Designer Edition, they have where you can see the different characters. It's always going to be obviously easier in Corel Draw and the Wizard, okay? But it's still pretty easy to swap them out in the others as well. Um, does Vinyl Shield block the glow in the glow in the dark adhesive vinyl? That is an amazing question. I would say no, because the light's still getting to it. Got to get a chargeable UV. Yes, I do, Nicole, because I've run through, th those things run through batteries like it's nothing. Oh, yes, the alignment star. Thank you, Jewel. Let me show you guys. So I had a, lot, a, lot, a couple people ask, how did I make the alignment star, okay, to do the aligning? So let me flip over here. Oh, I was on the screen camera. There we go. Let me come back over to Corel and done. And one and... Boom. So let's just say I wanted to make another star, okay? Another alignment star. Here's what I would actually do. I would have my star. So this is the star, this color here, all right? And I want to put an alignment star over here, okay? And then I also wanted one there. Let's, I'm going to put two more of them just to make it like we started from scratch. So you guys see how I have the two stars there, all right? Watch. I'm going to shift click and weld those together, okay? I'm gonna turn them to the pink, just for right now. I'm gonna control C and control V, copy and paste, and I have a second one there. And then I'm going to paste a third one there. So I have three of them there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on it, shift click on the pink, weld it together, okay? Send that one to the back, Click on the pink, shift click on the purple, weld that together. And you'll see there's a purple one there now. Click on the pink, shift click on the blue, weld that together. And now you'll see I just made three different stars for each of those. Got it? Does that make sense how I did that? So I just duplicated the star on top of itself. So there were three of them. And then I just welded each one of each of the stars with each color. And now they just are layering right on top of each other there. So when I do my color separation, you'll see there's a star in each color. And now it's easy to line it up. What else do we got? Um, in Corel, do you highlight nodes freely versus make? I do, Miss Pine, yes. So you'll see mine, <clears throat> whenever I have, I'm working with nodes. In the top left corner here, Mine is always on freehand. Because, and the reason why I like freehand better is if I wanted to grab just these nodes right here, I could grab just those nodes right there. 
where if I was working with a rectangular, it's really hard to grab just those because it might grab some of the other ones as well. Yes, Dawn, one star per color, correct. No, you do not need the wizard to use these fonts, Geeky. No, you don't. Hey, Bobby, maybe we can make another quick video using the summer font and maybe post on TikTok and Instagram like a minute long video or something showing um, using the summer font in design space and in um, designer edition in silhouette. Because I know a lot of people always have, and I know we have a few of them, a few older ones, but we can probably make a quick video just showing you guys kind of where the character mapping is and, and how to do that stuff. So the design automatically go to the correct path. So does the designs automatically go to the correct path? What do you mean on that? What do you mean on that, Evelyn? Peggy, that could be the most ridiculous question I've ever seen. What do you mean? I have a couple Cardinals hats. I do. I do. Hold on. Let me look for them. No, they went out in the trash a couple years ago. Uh, that was an easy one, Peggy. How do I save my files so I can tell what I... Ooh, save your files. Ooh, I, it's just a matter of Evelyn organizing them or resaving them or putting them in folders. Everybody does it different. Everybody does it different. So it, the biggest thing is the naming because then you can always... Um, <laughs> I got you, Peggy. Then you can always search for your files as well. <laughs> Cardinals. Actually, I'm more bitter at the Brewers right now because they're well ahead of the Cubs. <laughs> no, that was completely true, Don. <laughs> All right, what else we got? I'm going to make a... <laughs> I don't bash the Cubs. I wasn't bashing the Cardinals. I was simply stating where I store my Cardinals hats. Not bashing them. I actually like a few of the Cardinals players. I like, no matter how much I dislike a team because they're against the Cubs... I still respect many of the players. As long as they play the game right, I like players. I just might not want the team to win because I want the Cubs to win. So that's just my storage container for my Cardinals and Brewers hats. Don't really have to worry about the Pirates much because they're never in it. And the Reds. Reds actually aren't that bad this year. So... <laughs> I guess that would, I guess you could kind of consider it, I wouldn't consider it trashing the Cardinals. <laughs> All right, what else we got? Um, the font will work in any software. It doesn't necessarily, it's, a, it's just a true type font. It's just a true type font. So it can, it can work in any software. I mean, technically, technically it can work in um, even... Microsoft Word, right? Technically it could, but you're not going to cut anything out of Word. <laughs> I am never evil. <laughs> uh, I actually... Most people, most Cubs fans dislike the Cardinals more. I dislike the Brewers more than the Cardinals. Yeah, the Reds will choke if they... Yeah, they, 
That's the, that's the reason why I don't normally worry about the Reds much, is if they are having a good season, they'll, they'll normally choke at the end of the season. So, um, We'll see if it works. Oh, in design. It works in design space, but again, it's always a little more difficult, right? I have, we do have Cardinal Red on the website. Oh, that's that's true, Don. Maybe we should change the name of that. <laughs> All right, I got to make a TikTok on. I did a video earlier making Bobby's Tumblr, so I'm gonna make a TikTok and Instagram for that. I'm gonna make a TikTok and Instagram for that. So, hey, appreciate all of you guys coming by. I need, uh, I got a mini pack giveaway. I got a mini pack giveaway on YouTube here. TRW Release 65 is active. And the winner for the mini pack on YouTube, scrolling through right here, is this person right here. I got, let's go, Jewel Brown. Jewel, congratulations, Jewel. You're the winner. Mini pack on YouTube is yours. Let's go. All right. Hey, appreciate all of you guys. YouTube crew, you guys are freaking awesome. Appreciate you guys coming by. TikTok, thank you so much for coming by. And I will see you guys soon. Remember, Bobby has a live tomorrow. Today's Thursday, right? Bobby has a live tomorrow. Three o'clock on Instagram. Is that correct, Bobby? Three o'clock on Instagram. I'm pretty positive is Bobby's live tomorrow, all right? And it'll be in the email as well. It'll be in the email as well. And go grab your free design today. Go grab your free design. All right, crew, appreciate all of you guys. We'll see you guys soon. Later. Maybe. Almost later. See you later.